Hi guys, it's me, Boog. And Dad. Yeah, last time, this is actually recording number two, because we had some stickiness from Take him. two. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. And today we're going to, but today we're going to be reviewing from the Elite Collection, Bobby the Brain Heenan. Legends Series Seven. Right, so it's Elite Collection. Um, and <laughs> what did you say? Le oh, ser Series uh, Series Seven. Of All the right. Legends. Of the Legends, right? So this is our first. It's hard to believe as many wrestling figures as Boog has, but this is our first Bobby the Brain Heenan figure. So uh, we were in Target today and saw him sit on the shelf, and we were really excited to get him because we love the Brain. The Weasel. Well, Dad does. He's awesome. One of Boog's favorite managers of all time. Hey. Right. <laughs> Definitely one of the wrestling greats. So, uh, in this version, uh, he is in his Weasel outfit um, from a show they did. A.K.A. the bunny suit. <clears throat> yes, yes. Kind of looks like a bunny suit. Supposed to be a Weasel suit, though. Uh, this is the idea behind it. I'll, I'll read you this little synopsis here. Uh, Listen up, humanoids. To the champions he managed... The patriarch of the Heenan family was the brain, but the WWE Universe had a name more fitting for a man of his character, the Weasel. So way back in 1988, after Ultimate Warrior destroyed Heenan, uh, who stepped out of his managerial comfort zone and into the ring as a competitor, he dressed the unconscious Bobby in a full-size Weasel suit. So this is what this is after uh, Bobby's um, bout with the Ultimate Warrior. And there's a nice shot of the back. And these are the uh, legends that are in Series 7. So you get a nice looking Razor Ramon figure, which we did see it there today. But we have a lot of Razor Ramones, so we didn't necessarily jump on that one. Uh, of course, the brain here in the middle. And they did not have Greg the Hammer Valentine, but I think that's one we would definitely pick up. Because I don't believe we have a, a Greg the Hammer, do we? No, well, that's because there hasn't been one. This wow. is the first release. Oh, Boog says that's first in the line, so he thinks that's why that one's really popular. So hopefully we'll get to run across it and pick it up. But um, but yeah, like I said, that's going to be the look of the box here for this one. And Boog, do you want to get it open? One second. We've lost Boog. I'm seriously just over here. Oh, okay. Boog is back. Okay, I thought that would be more awesome, but it was not. And he's ready to dive in. Snip. Yeah, I love that they did uh, Bobby, Bobby Heenan, and then they did the uh, um, Gre or Greg Valentine, the Hammer. Um, you just like watching him as a kid, so those were great. And then uh, I'm not sure why they picked Razor again, because they've done oh, look, he so has, many Razor this figures. This is so. This is so. Uh, that's a that's a tail. I think that's the Weasel tail. Alright. Yeah, Dad's favorite. So, the brain is coming with some interchangeable hands yeah, here. That one's a little bent. Yeah, kind of got packaging. a bunch. Oh, is that what it is? His mm -hmm. finger looks a little little bent here. It's broken. Ouch! Maybe the warrior broke his finger. <laughs> Maybe. Or the packaging broke its thing, his finger. Yep, here he is kind of pointing again. That one looks a little more normal. And here comes the brain. Wow. First ever in the weasel suit. Nice. <laughs> All right. Let's get him straightened out here. Uh, it's kind of a nice, soft, fluffy uh, weasel suit material, looks like. Let's check out that head sculpt. Uh, not too bad. It, it uh, yeah, it's it, it looks like him, I think. Pretty happy with it. And then, uh, of course, there's the rest of the suit there. Yeah, he wasn't very happy wearing this thing. Um after the uh the warrior gave him his pounding but uh weasel was always kind of nickname he hated of course at least on tv but uh he always wanted to be called the brain right boog mm -hmm. all right um do we do we care to see what he's wearing under the weasel suit or do we just want to leave it at that i'm not <laughs> real sure don't worry dad it's just as wrestling yeah if we want to oh just as wrestling suit. oh good <laughs> All right, I was getting nervous. <laughs> I think Dad thought he was naked underneath. Yeah, I remember this match. Yeah, he wore some kind of weird Andre the Giant looking singlet, if I remember correctly. We're gonna find out here. See if uh, see if my memory is uh, any good. <laughs> Boog's having a little bit of issue here getting the weasel suit off.
Wow, Warrior really did put this on tight, too. <laughs> Weasel suit's a little tight. <laughs> well, it's having that hard of a time. We may never get it back on. No, I think it's way easier to get it on than off. Maybe so. Hopefully. Okay, I got one hand out. They might have done a little more, more Velcro on that. It's a full jumpsuit, though, so that can be kind of tough when it comes to these oh, figures. Oh, no. Pants. No pants. Oh, yep. That's <laughs> what I remember. <laughs> yeah, him and Andre must have shopped at the same wrestling gear supplier because that outfit. Yeah, that's pretty much it. No pants. All right. So there he is. <laughs> yeah, and his uh, Bobby the Brain uh, singlet. I'll say uh, Mattel did him a big favor. I don't think Bobby's body was ever this good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they got him in shape here. So, um, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, now, it is kind of funny, I've noticed, down here around the legs. I guess they tried to do that to make him look a little maybe out of shape or because uh, you can see all those all those wrinkles around his his calves, that's no, definitely uh, no, not normal. No, uh, that's that's just a weird sock mold they do. They just put that on there for no real reason. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. okay. So that's not something they did specifically for him. Um, but yeah, it just looks really funny. But all right, I guess that doesn't make any sense because they wouldn't give him such a uh, a kind of a ripped upper torso if they were that worried about what is what the body was going to look like, and then giving these weird uh, wrinkles around his, his, his uh, lower legs there. Yeah. Right. So anyway. All right, folks. Well, that's it. I think that's well, our first, review. Let's put this jumpsuit back on. I don't know if the people home want to sit at home for another 10 minutes while you put the jumpsuit back on. <laughs> I think it, uh, hopefully it will be easier. I'm not so sure about that. We'll see. But we'll find out on Boog and Dad TV in a couple, hopefully, moments. Right, right. I'll give you uh, one minute. Wait, what? <laughs> one minute to get the uh, jumpsuit back on there. If not, we're wrapping it up. Right, folks? Did they say yes? Mm-hmm. Well, Dad, well, wait a minute. How do, how do we know this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know this. Comment down below if you if you think Dad is right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, he's got one arm back in. And here comes the other. Ah, he may have been right. Well, I think he's done pretty good getting him back back, uh, back in the weasel suit. Yep. Get that one one arm in there. So, well, how much time do I have left? Mm, about 30 seconds. Okay. Ah, I think he's done it. So now this video gets to go on an hour longer. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not really. Okay. And also, look at this tail. No, I don't think anybody wants to see an hour-long review on Bobby the Brain Heenan in a weasel suit. <laughs> but anyway. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up. Um, see you later, humanoids. Okay, guys. That's the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe to Boog and Dad TV for some more awesome toy fun. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody.